<laughs> Here we come! Being the captain on a long passage is one of the harder things you can ever do in your sailing career. We're literally five minutes into the, into the sail and we already lost the autopilot. As my buddy Murphy says, whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. The boat was going too fast, upwind, we were taking big waves. Water is soaked my bed. Most of the hatches on the boat are leaking. I don't know what to do. Add the responsibility of taking inexperienced crew, and that pressure can get very intense. Estoy un poco nerviosa. And you're planning on living on boats, right? Yeah. Beautiful. And in the future, buy my own boat, be my own captain. Well, hopefully she still thinks the same way after this crossing. What is up, my people? Okay, look. Today is a really special day. We are going to sail from Panama to St. Martin. It is gonna be a long, arduous journey. Uh, nobody does this, and the wind is crazy, and I've got the iridium set up, I've got uh, weather mapping, I've got the sat phone, I've got the boat is all stowed. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the boat to show you what we did to get ready for this trip, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna film every day of this trip and just see, you can see what it's like on a 10 day passage, like a real long cruising passage. What we're doing, uh, what keeps us busy. It actually is surprisingly busy. Yep, it always is. Uh, the crew for this amazing journey is Anna. Hola. Anna. Estoy un poco nerviosa. Oh yeah, why? Sí, I don't know. Por qué? Porque es muchos días en el agua. Sí, es su primera vez. Sí, así que mi corazón. Sí, pero tienes cinco. Este es doble, doble de el doble otro. Doble que el anterior, sí. sí. Pero bien, me encanta el crew. Sí. Sí, me encantan todos. Yo, yo también. Let's go meet the other crew. You guys might remember her. I'm Steph. Where are you from, Steph? From Holland. How old are you? 31 now. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite color? I would go with red. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, but I like pink too. Ha, you, <laughs> you've been sailing over the ABC Islands. But, yeah. But you've never done a long passage. No, that's true. This will be my this first. Will be the test. Yeah. And you're planning on living on boats, right? Yeah. Beautiful. And in the future, buy my own boat, be my own captain. And we'll see what, if you still have that dream after this run. And then, uh, our last crew member is Mr. Joe. What's going on? Where are you from, Joe? I'm from New Jersey. How old are you? 23 years old. You, you like sailing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the most I've done so far is the sound boss, which is been like six hours, but hey, a little 10 day passage, we'll see how much I like it. Are, you, are you excited about it, or yeah, are you okay. nervous? I'm excited, no, I'm not nervous at all. Good. This is what I wanted to do, this is why I came here, so I'm excited to be finally getting out of Panama and actually going and doing some real sailing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well said, sir. Thank you. Well, join me in welcoming all the crew and uh, let's get this thing sailing. We're literally five minutes into this into the sail and we already lost the autopilot. Uh, it says searching for the controller, so I'm thinking the controller either doesn't have power or, I don't know, it's dead. If it's dead, we can't leave. Um, I gotta figure out what's wrong with this thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty quick trip, you know, 1,700 miles. Um, St. Martin looks a whole lot like Panama, though. I don't know. I've never been there, so maybe it looks the same, but shit, that looks like Panama to me. Technically day two of our journey to uh, St. Martin. We're still in port. We came back last night. I tried to troubleshoot this thing for a little while, but I was really tired, so I uh, went to sleep. I guess I like 14 hours last night. But today is the uh, troubleshooting the, the communication problem between the CCU and the ECU of the autopilot. So I've got another CCU that I've put in. It's right here. This is the old one. This is for a GH12. It's got it's got a compass built in to the CCU, and then this is the new one that I just put in. 
that's a Reactor 40 CCU. And um, it uses a different cable, but it's got a cable adapter. So this is the this is the cable it's using, and it's going to the feed cable, that purple one. And that purple cable goes all the way back to my bedroom and plugs into, this is the ECU, that purple cable here, that's the ECU cable. So, that ECU is brand new. I had purpose, purposefully bought another autopilot to have a spare because the ECU on the old autopilot went out. And I just used the ECU and put it in the old autopilot. That way I'd have a bunch of new parts that if I got hit by lightning or something, I might be able to like cobble together. Unfortunately, now I'm having a problem with the communications cable between the ECU and the CCU. That's a very long cable too. So I'm either gonna have to change the position of the CCU or get a new cable. And that means we're gonna have to stay in port. So I'm, I'm gonna have to try to make this work so we can get to St. Martin and then I can fix it in St. Martin. I know to everybody's detriment that you're like, no James, don't jury rig the boat. I mean, I think I, think I have like 400 comments from one video. Uh, but that's just the way it goes, man. I, you have to do what you have to do on a boat. It's it's not always a simple answer. Yes, there is the right answer every time, but you guys don't realize that the right answer sometimes is not possible. So a lot of the time, and uh, you got to do what you got to do. So this is how this is why only one in one thousand people do this because most people just can't wrap their head around. Okay, well, we have to do this. And we have to do what we have to do. If you, if you always have everything perfect, you're never gonna leave port. That's an absolute certainty with, with cruising. Okay, rant over. Let's fix this thing. All right, problem number one I see is with this box. So these are all 24 to 12 volt um, converters. And when I switch on this switch, which is the switch that switches on that box, starts making a weird noise. Can you hear that? Kind of like a hissing sound or like a broken fan or something. So what I'm gonna do is um, switch it for the spare. There's a spare right next to that one. Okay, now that that's done, we can try turning it on again. And that one doesn't make any noise. Yep, much better, but it still didn't solve the problem. I'm still searching for the solar controller. So that wasn't the problem. Um, the problem is either with the NEMA cable that goes into the um, various parts of equipment, but what I really think it is, is it's, it's going to be the, uh, the communications cable between the CCU and the ECU, which is not a great thing for me. I do have a spare, but it's not long enough, so we'll see. Okay, success. I'm so glad that I bought a spare autopilot because I absolutely needed it. It's all the new parts of the autopilot. So I've got a cable going from the new ECU all the way over. This is called the CCU, the control unit. And then it goes over here. That's the cable coming out. And then that's NEMA cable that goes in there and it connects to the NEMA network. Um, so it's getting speed from the NEMA and then from GPS. And then um, here's the new display, and it does work. I've already calibrated some of it. I haven't calibrated the compass yet, so it says calibrating compass not working, but it does turn the wheel. See, it's turning the wheel now. Watch, yeah. We have an autopilot we can definitely leave today. I just gotta um, hook all the wires up and get this thing stowed and set, and then we gotta do sea trial calibration again because it's a new um, controller. It doesn't have any of the information in the other controller. <sighs> okay. Okay, proving to be the hardest job in this whole thing is installing this freaker on the wall. First of all, the wall is like this thick, it's solid fiberglass, and there's, I, I don't know, like a metal plate in it. The, the screws go in and then they just stop and they start. I mean, I broke one, but I broke in half, man. And uh, hopefully this one will go in a little easier. This one I can get a drill in, so I'm gonna use a drill. Not straight at all. Why? 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 So 
So basically what this thing does is it just does zigzags, bigger and bigger zigzags, so it can get a feel for how the boat is going to move when it's, and, and how fast it moves. And it's almost like a AI. It just, it says, okay, if I move the rudder 20 degrees, it moves this fast, it goes through this many degrees, and it's just a, an algorithm that it calculates, and that's it. I think it may need to do circles too, but I don't think so. I think I remember it being just these zigzags. So it's like 10 minutes of zigzags and then we're good to go. And hopefully it works. And um, it's got like a learning thing if you, if you set the boat to being a sailboat or a powerboat. So make sure you get that right. Tenemos un auto piloto! Vamanos! Vamanos! Beautiful day today. This is a much better day to leave. Woohoo! Sinanda, <laughs> here we go! If you want to, I'll get you flowers waiting around the bend. Baby, let's just pretend. I want to stay like this forever. I want to stay right here with you. I want to stay right here with you. As the rest we fall until it all breaks down. But I need it so I will stay around when you're all messed up. It's a great relief to be understood. It's a shame still what is run deep. Just made dinner. Nobody else can cook down here. And Two of the crew aren't feeling there that great. Joe's doing good. Uh, we just took a huge wave that just soaked everybody and soaked the cockpit. So um, the sea state's getting a little bigger, but we've turned down to towards Columbia because I want to make some easting. We're getting like almost right east, a little bit of south, but um, that way I can get a little more east before we turn up and I can try to get over to the east side of Cuba instead of having to go around the whole country. Yeah, doing good, it's about to get dark. Um, I'm tired, I'm hot, I look crazy. I need a shower. <laughs> Let's go look outside. Okay, this is one of the worst sails I've ever had. Uh, it's morning day two and everything is wet. Last night was actually pretty good. The sea state was pretty low, it was less than six feet and we were flying, we were hauling butt. I think we averaged eight and a half knots last night. But this morning with the sunrise, the sea state just went crazy. We were taking huge waves over. I triple reefed the main, triple reefed the jib, and that slowed us down, but we're still taking water. Like, look, this is water coming over the boat. There's water in the front. We're taking waves every like maybe 10 to 30 seconds. And this is leaking. And this, you see where the drips are coming from there? It's hard, it's really hard to film this. Anyway, it's leaking from the seal and it's leaking down on my pillow, which is now soaking freaking wet. It's also really wet right here from this. This is the emergency tiller access, and I think I fixed that this morning. Uh, I got really bad news too. It's it's leaking from under my new teak. Check this out. Up here, this is wet. What's weird is this is wet too, and this is wet over here. It's never been that way before, so I don't know what to do. I'll show you the rest of the boat. I mean, everything is wet. This is salt water on the floor. 
something leaking here. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, I think it's this window. This is def that window's definitely leaking right here from the window part. This window's leaking. There's water all over the deck here. Forward cabins are okay. Mm, I see some water coming from the mast. Oh yeah, there's water coming from in here too, look. Yeah, so it's leaking on the covers. Yeah, it's leaking in here. Oh my god, it's leaking everywhere. Well, I actually don't feel any leaks coming from here. That's crazy. That's good. So, most of the hatches on the boat are leaking. The port lights aren't. That's good. Your sail has been so far. Oh, just amazing. Puked on day one, puked on day two, puked even today. Back to the mango. Join us next week to witness a plan change due to a sick crew member. So I'm uh, getting off in Santa Marta. Will she be able to wait until our next port to get off? Great. I said we just go straight to St. Martin. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. No! All right. I will jump off! <laughs> you could swim that for sure.